defense does it again. He has asserted himself in the second half. My teammates can count on me, go out there and make a play. It's pressure, got him again, and Quora knocked it out. It is picked up, touchdown. A three-sack performance today. Pretty good Saturday in South Bend as Virginia was a ranked team. Julian Aquara made some big defensive plays in one of the key wins in Notre Dame season. And Julian Aquara joins us now. Uh, we were talking in the break. You're hanging out in Charlotte getting ready for the draft. And uh, yes, your brother Romeo, who's in the league with the Lions, is back. <laughs> he's back home there with you now, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, he, he's actually across the room. Uh, I think he's staying in my sister's room because he, he's too big and I grow my house. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's good to have him back home and have the whole family home. My mom was kind of... My, my mom was pushing to have everybody everybody back in the house, and she missed us, so decided to come back home and see her. That's pretty cool. Uh, tell Romeo we said, hey, uh, tell, tell everybody about your journey uh, to South Bend from uh, London to Nigeria to uh, the U.S. to South Bend. Uh, it's been an incredible journey. Why don't you tell everyone uh, how it's yes, gone sir. for your first part of life here? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Um, so I was born in London, uh, lived in Nigeria for eight years, moved here when I was eight years old to Charlotte, North Carolina. So um, I, I definitely remember uh, Nigeria a lot and actually went back for the first time in like 12 years this past summer. Uh, so last year I went, went back home and spent some time with my dad and I was able to kind of see some old friends and family and uh, spend time with them and kind of just go back to my where I was from and uh, kind of my roots and see that. Um, so it was definitely nice. It was a great experience um, just being able to go back, especially – I've been gone for 12 years. So it was just kind of a cool experience, kind of spend time with my family and just see things I haven't seen in a while and just people who have rooted for me and got me to the point where I am now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm 22 years old now, and it's just kind of surreal that I'm, I'm here kind of preparing for the NFL drafts. I mean, I've always dreamed of since I moved out here. Um, football started playing football in the eighth grade and just fell on, fell in love with the game, really, and just the physicality and the, and the love, really, the brotherhood you kind of build in the locker room and just playing on Saturdays. Um, just something I kind of enjoyed and uh, looking forward to playing on Sundays. Freshman at Notre Dame, team goes four and eight. Next three years, they win 33 games, and you're one of the leaders in that senior year. What did you learn about the power of a football team uh, in those three years coming off the adversity of that four and eight season? Right. Uh, Coach Kelly always preaches, uh, talking about the process. It's something we have written in the locker room, really everywhere around the, around the building. Um, but it's something he preaches all the time, talking about the process. And um, I think just being able to kind of fall in love with that process and coming for an A, being a freshman, you expect to win all these games and it doesn't end up being that way. Um, you really got to work for everything. You got to, everything is earned, not given. So um, we definitely have to put in our time and had great leaders, Drew Tranquil, Jerry Tillery, Tavon Coney, um, Mike McGlinchey, Quentin Nelson. We, we had great leaders all from top to bottom, really from seniors to freshmen. We were able to step in and play winning football for us. So it's really just a testament to our preparation and the coaches that put us in a position to succeed. All right, let's get to the uh, meat of this. Uh, unfortunately, your senior season was cut short in the Duke game, broke your left fibula. So we're about five months removed from surgery. And obviously, Every NFL team that has talked about you or to you is asking, how are you doing? So why don't you just tell everybody uh, right now I'm, how are you doing? I'm, I'm 150% ready to go. Um, I'm looking forward to this season. I've been rehabbing. 150, um, huh? <laughs> 150. I'm ready to go. There's no issues, nothing. I'm, re I'm ready to go. I'm looking forward to this season. So I'm, I, I sent out a video making sure uh, teams know that I'm good to go. So I, I'm ready to go. I feel great, better than ever. So I'm just ready to kind of get the season going and get things, get my life moving forward and enjoy this journey, really. I mentioned your brother is with the Lions now, the Giants before. Uh, were you able to work out with him at all before everything got shut down here a month or so ago? Yeah, so I was actually in L.A. Um, kind of in, or I went there for like a weekend to kind of spend time with him, just take a break off and kind of training a little bit. Um, so I was able to see him. And then we're actually supposed to, after this interview, supposed to go run some hills. So just kind of be able to spend some time together and just enjoy the process and uh, really just get some work in. I'm um, supposed to. Kind of, he dragged me up out of dragged me up out of bit. Not really dragged me, but um, we we definitely wanted to find some time to work out and just spend spend the week together. Um, he's probably heading back in, after this week. He just wants to spend time and enjoy the draft and do all that stuff with me. So it's kind of nice, kind of go out there and grind with him. That's so cool. What what has he been able to tell you to help you to prepare for this jump from Notre Dame to the NFL? Right. Um, I think just be able to um, ha have your um, really priority straight and being able to take care of your body, um, doing the right thing, but you're taking care of your body and, and mentally, uh, physically, uh, make sure you're staying up to treatment, 
um, time management, making sure you're spending time uh, studying a playbook, um, get to know your teammates, doing a lot of sort of stuff. So it's really um, just kind of stuff you already prepare for in college, uh, but it's even taking them more to an even higher level, um, spending more time watching film, get to know your opponent, doing all this, all this r small things right. Um, and now even be building a brand for yourself, making sure you're uh, doing the right things on and off the field, um, just being able to positive, positive mind for community, be able to help the younger guys and the youth uh, kind of um, give hope for them. Uh, being Nigerian, uh, there's not a lot of role, role models really for them and be able to kind of, you know, I know something I want to do in the future is kind of help the Nigerians who are in need and be a support system for them and bring them to enjoy football and bring them to the football world. So that's definitely something I'll, my brother and I want to plan to do in the future. So um, just be able to kind of do that. And so it, it's a lot of, there's a lot of things that go into, into the pot. So um, maybe sure you're balancing all, all that stuff out at once. And um, I think to be able to um, be able to op operate on the go. So I think that's the most important thing being able to take care of your body and be the best person play winning for ball, football for your teammates. It's so cool that you've got him right there and you guys share so much of this journey. All right, so I got a bunch of mock drafts here. I got you in the second round. I got you in the fourth round. My buddies at Pro mm -hmm. Football Focus have you 28th overall. Do you pay attention to all these things or do you nah, just kind of nah. blow it all off? No, nah, I, I blow it all off. Uh, my brother went on draft and he's going to his fifth season. Um, there are a lot of first round picks. We don't even play football anymore. So I'm not really worried about that stuff. Um, it's really just giving me the opportunity to play. And I know what I bring to the table and um, what I can do for a team and help them win a, win a Super Bowl. Um, so I, I'm not really worried about the numbers. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to get a shot. Everybody does. It's just a matter of what you do to it and um, what you do to stay in the league for, for to extend your career. Um, really make sure you're doing the right things. Like I said, on out the field, make sure you're playing one in football. So I'm not really worried about the numbers. Um, at the end of the day, God bless me and put me in a situation to get a, get a shot at this game and um, to play this for my career. So um, I'm, I'm really just looking forward to that. Well, it was a real joy and fun for us to watch you at Notre Dame, especially these last three seasons. Uh, glad to hear your uh, your healing. Who's going to win the race up the hill? You or your brother, by the way? Oh yeah, I was hundred percent going to race him. Um, probably me. I might I might get in a little back pedal while he's running straight for us. So I might I might try to showboat a little bit. Okay. <laughs> nah, nah, it'd be a, it'd be a good competition. So just... he, he's pretty quick. <laughs> nah, it, 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 I don't know. probably me. I bet on myself. <laughs> All right, I, I, I'm just going to ask you to post some evidence on social media if you beat him, that's all. So, <laughs> hey, great to catch up with you, and uh, we wish you the best on uh, draft weekend. Thanks, Julian. Thank you, I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.